I'm South Asian and so many of my family members struggle with diabetes mellitus. It's unbelievable. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about what happens to your bladder when you get diabetes and how you can better improve your quality of life by improving your diabetic control. I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and thank you so much for joining me today. So when you get diabetes, you may notice that you're drinking quite frequently and you're going to the bathroom quite frequently. And that's because your kidneys are having trouble filtering the glucose from your blood because it's being overwhelmed and that's actually getting into your urinary tract and causing what's called an osmotic diuresis. This initially is what causes the urinary frequency, but it can also cause changes in the muscle of the bladder wall itself. And this can cause symptoms such as overactive bladder symptoms because of what's called detrusor overactivity. And you may notice that you're having urinary frequency, going to the bathroom quite often, urinary urgency, gotta go, gotta go. You may even be waking up at night to urinate when you normally didn't used to before. But over time, that can change, and that's due to a number of different things. One is that diabetes impacts your nervous system, so you may hear about people with diabetes getting numbness and tingling in the bottom of their feet or in their fingers because of their diabetes, but this also affects the bladder, and it can over time lead to something called diabetic cystopathy. And what happens then is that your bladder stops being so overactive, but you start noticing that you're having more difficulty emptying your bladder. You may notice that you're straining to urinate, you're waiting a little longer for your urine to start, or your stream is kind of stop and go. And so that can make it harder for you to empty over time. And having better glycemic control can actually help with that. If you can't empty your bladder, besides having those horribly distressing symptoms that I'm talking about, you can also get recurrent bladder infections or recurrent urinary tract infections. And this can occur, one, because maybe your diabetes is not so well controlled, so that sugar in your urine is like food for bacteria to eat and they like staying in your bladder, or it can be because you're not emptying your bladder quite well, because your bladder now, the squeeze and the muscle of your bladder is affected due to that neuropathy that your bladder is experiencing. And so the key here that I wanna get across to you is getting control of your sugars and making sure that you have well-controlled sugars can help control your bladder symptoms. However, if you're having symptoms of overactive bladder, make sure you check out my video on five things you can do to help your overactive bladder. And if you're having trouble emptying your bladder, please see a urologist because there are things we can do that might be able to help you and improve your quality of life. On a side note, for men with diabetes mellitus, it can also cause issues with erections. So I see a lot of young men who have long-standing diabetes and come into my office with erectile dysfunction. While there are multiple treatment options for erectile dysfunction, is a huge problem for quality of life in many, many men with diabetes mellitus. So again, another plug for making sure you take control of your sugars and see a urologist when you're suffering because we can help you. Thanks so much and always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.